Hello people, Edwin Learn back once again, uh, YouTube NFL Prognosticator. Okay, let me get started. This is going to be 2012 NFL Predictions, week number 10, and away we go. To the first game, I'm going to take Indianapolis over Jacksonville. Uh, the Colts, um, right now, um, despite, and I understand their competition, has not uh, exactly been tremendous but I like the way that Andrew Luck has been playing. Yes, it's been more than fortuitous and lucky and on his end in the Colts. The Colts have uh, really exceeded expectations in my mind. Yes, they have to travel to Jacksonville in a short week. I understand that Jacksonville is probably going to give them all they can handle, and I expect that to be a competitive tight game, but I do like the Colts in a, in a close one. Next game, I'm going to take the New York Giants over the Cincinnati Bengals, primarily because Giants, they are the defending Super Bowl champs, and I expect them to show some resiliency, and generally this team doesn't like to lose um, two consecutive games. It doesn't happen very often in a Tom Coughlin era, and I don't expect it to happen in this game either. Cincinnati, um, they are, you know, they're not exactly a horrible team. They are at home. And Andy Dalton and him and his um, receivers, they will um, put up some points and make it close. But I think the Giants will take this. Next game, Miami Dolphins over the Tennessee Titans. Um, Tennessee is floundering right now. They really, you know, to me, um, they obviously, they didn't play to their potential in that last game against the Chicago Bears. Not to take anything or detract anything from Chicago. They're a great team this season. I just felt like, you know, if you can't be, you know, you can't, you're going to lose by 30 points and get annihilated at home to the Bears, and then you got to go on the road and play against Miami, who is, you know, fairly, you know, competitive team. I kind of feel that Miami uh, should take this one. Next game. I'll take the Minnesota Vikings over the Detroit Lions. Minnesota Vikings after going off to an outstanding start, have not looked well in the past couple of weeks or so, but they are at home and Detroit is really not playing um, really at a stellar level this season. They have actually probably not played to their potential. Minnesota Vikings, I'm mean, Christian Ponder and you know their guys Adrian Peterson, I expect them, uh, Peterson to you know, dominate time of possession. I see this team beating Detroit in this game. And in the next game, I'm going to take, you know, no revelation here, the New England Patriots over the Buffalo Bills. New England Patriots are starting to get their uh, mojo back right now, and I, I really believe this team can still be very dominant. They haven't played as well this season as they have in previous ones, but they're still the class of the AFC East. They are at home. They're playing an AFC East rival. They will show that they are, you know, still the, the supreme team in this division, and they will uh, win this game over uh, Buffalo Bills. And next game, it's the New Orleans Saints at home against the Atlanta Falcons. Well, this is a very tough game uh, to predict because New Orleans is starting to get their rhythm back and they look like, you know, they're starting to play cohesively and on all cylinders. However, I'm going to stick with the Falcons until somebody knocks them off. Uh, Falcons, you know, they probably won't go 16-0. and They're obviously not invincible, but I think, you know, they're going to keep this rolling a little bit longer, and I think they will beat New Orleans and go 9-0 and to start this season. Here's another tough game, uh, Tampa Bay and San Diego. Tampa Bay is at home. Um, the resurgent Bucks, I believe, have taken three of the last four games. They have played very well, and they even had some games early in the season where they, you know, they obviously they looked like they were um, very competitive, almost beating the New York Giants early in the season. Um, San Diego, you know, is not a bad team. They're somewhat mediocre. You know, they can look like world beaters some weeks, and other times, you know, they look like you know anybody can beat them. I think Tampa Bay is playing a little better right now, and they are at home, so I will go with the Bucks. Next game, I'm going to take the Denver Broncos over the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Denver, 
like some other teams are starting to really gel and play cohesively. Uh, Peyton Manning is starting to really, uh, you know, still look like he could very well be the best quarterback in the NFL. I think this team is going to keep rolling, and they may only lose one or two more games the rest of the season, I believe. And I think one of those losses won't come to the Carolina Panthers. Um, Cam Newton and Carolina, they really need to, you know, make some reparations and, and changes on, you know, I don't know if it's in their scheme or what they need to do, but Carolina, you know, obviously, you know, is not, you know, really uh, played that well this season, and some people thought they were uh, going to be possibly a wild card team, and it looks like they're probably not going to make the postseason. So I'm going to take Denver in that one. Uh, next game, uh, Baltimore uh, Ravens over the Oakland Raiders. Baltimore is at home. Yes, Baltimore has been decimated with injuries. They're obviously not as good as they were when they started the season. However, the Baltimore Ravens and their quote-unquote Ravenous defense will be enough to be an Oakland Raider team that is, you know, kind of flighty, looks good on some weeks, other weeks looks like they can't, you know, do much. They, Oakland, I thought, was should have beaten Tampa Bay last week, and that was at home. Now they got to go on the road to play a Baltimore team that rarely uh, loses at home. Is you know some something around uh, you know 15 or 16 or 16 their last 17 at home or so. So I mean, they don't like to lose at home, and I don't think they're going to lose this one either. Okay, next game, I'm I'm going to take the Seattle. Seahawks over the New York Jets. The New York Jets have been floundering. They really, in the, the last game they played, I believe, is Miami. They were at home. That was a game they should have won, I felt, and they just looked like they couldn't uh, get anything done. The New York Jets appear to be an identity crisis, and they can't seem to figure out what they're going to do as far as the Sanchez, you know, Tim Tebow situation. Um, even though, you know, the Jets, I believe, have dominated the series and, you know, in recent years have won 10 of the last 12, they're playing um, a Seattle team, which is really one of the toughest, uh, you know, home advantages in the NFL right now, surprisingly. Seattle's a very formidable home team, and I really am there. I like what their, you know, young quarterback has been doing for them, and Seattle, to me, is very competitive at home. I don't see them uh, losing to the Jets. I see them winning this one. Um, next game, I'm going to take Philadelphia Eagles over the Dallas Cowboys. Philadelphia Eagles um, dominated the Dallas Cowboys last season. I believe won uh, both games by a combined 54 to 14, including uh, I think there was a 34 to 7 uh, shellacking in in Week 8 uh, um, the last season over Dallas. I think Dallas and see it. Uh, the Eagles, they're both kind of in a reeling mode right now. Neither one is playing well. The tiebreaker, I think, is the Eagles at home. Next game, I'm going to take San Francisco 49ers over the St. Louis Rams. San Francisco is at home. St. Louis, they showed a little promise early in the year. They were playing competitively. It looked like the secondary was really gelling and the defense was really playing well uh, from Jeff Fisher. They haven't looked quite as stupendous in recent weeks. I think 49ers are starting, you know, to gel. They're starting to, you know, emerge as a dominant team uh, this year like they were last season. Uh, 49ers uh, take them at home. Next game, uh, Chicago Bears at home over the Houston Texans. Uh, this one is practically uh, pretty much essentially a toss-up, I believe. Um, the Chicago and um, NFC has appeared to be the dominant conference. I believe they have won close to two out of um, every three um, games on an average this season over the AFC. AFC is obviously the inferior conference at this point of the season. Um, he has nothing, you know, against Houston. Houston is is uh, I believe the best team in the AFC right now. They're they played and um, they've had a stellar season. You know they only have one loss and that was to you know the Green Bay Packers who has uh, who have a, a weaker record than they do. So that and I believe that was at Houston or who they when they lost to Green Bay, Chicago. Now they got to play the Bears on the road. Uh, Chicago was shown to be a formidable team this season. I, you know, their defense last week caused turnover after turnover to the Tennessee Titans. They're playing um, very, you know, high energy level. Um, that 
and I really believe, you know, Chicago can get by on a mediocre offense because their defense has just, you know, played at a phenomenal level, and I believe they will win this game. Next game, uh, final game uh, of this, um, you know, week uh, 12, week 10 segment. Pittsburgh Steelers over Kansas City uh, Chiefs. Is there really any reason to give much analysis on this game? Well, probably not, but I will. I'll do it anyway. The Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, they're starting to show that tenacious defense that they, you know, they uh, prided themselves on for um, in recent years. Kansas City looks to me they seem like a team that really you know can't beat anybody right now. They're arguably the worst team, if not one of the worst teams in the NFL at this point. Pittsburgh is at home. I think they're starting to get some momentum. They're starting to play a little bit better. By you know, they showed me something uh, last week and some resolve and uh, you know um, facing adversity last season. I mean last game against the defending champion New York Giants, being down by 10 points and coming back. Uh, with Big Ben and company to uh, emerge victorious in that game. I really uh, believe Pittsburgh you know, can make a run right now, and I think it you know, may have started last week, and it's going to obviously, I think, continue uh, in this week's coming game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, people, that is going to uh, conclude uh, my 2012 NFL predictions for week number 10, and that will be it and I will see you back next week with my week 11 predictions, prognostications. Until then people stay well.